So when you buy a tripod, antenna, and mounting bracket from us, uh, this is everything that you'll see. Um, the tripod, of course, will have the plate already in it. You'll simply pop that off. And the tripod plate, of course, comes with a uh, screw. Now I've actually got it backwards. I've just reattached it. Ignore that. But um, So the um, screw, though, you'll take it out using a sharp object. You just point it down in there and then pop that little washer off. And again, I've got it backwards. I just undid it and redid it. But uh, the concept is the same there. You'll take that little washer off. And then um, basically, I would put this in some plastic bag somewhere, stored away in case you ever wanted to reattach the uh, little screw here. That way, you can attach it to the bottom of a camera. Um, but that's the way it typically looks when, you, when it comes. And so you'll take off the washer, pop that out, and then we'll set that off to the side for now. And so, again, that's tool number one you'll need is even a safety pin will work, but some, something sharp to slip in there to pop that washer out. Uh, we're also going to use just a little wrench, a uh, base of pliers will work or really anything. Uh, this is an 8mm socket. Um, that's, I think this is the same nut we send every time. Um, so that's the two tools you'll need. Um, you'll get in your bag a little L bracket. Now it doesn't have to be an L bracket. This was simply the only thing we found that fit the bolt pattern in the back of the antenna. And like everything that you see in my videos, I try to find you know, what's the most reliable, least expensive, uh, easiest, you know, most compact setup. And so we found at the hardware store that this bracket fits perfectly uh, over the, the bolts there. And you'll see that in a second, but uh, I'm not sure if you get the part number there. Um, but all, everything you see, everything hardware-wise, you can buy yourself. Most people go ahead and buy it from us because that way they don't have to go hunt it all down. Uh, so uh, if you buy it from us, this is what you get. Uh, now, depending on the type of tripod you get, uh, most of the time we send this other one, which I'll show you. But this one requires five of the big washers, one small washer, and one nut. Uh, again, all that you can buy at your local hardware store. So let's put it all together. Um, so basically here, you're going to just slip this down. Actually, first you take your five washers. Now, with the newer tripod, you only need four. Um, you'll slip those down first, then your L bracket. And if you wanted to, you could actually cut off your L bracket here. That way all this is not sticking out. But I've never found that it gets in my way. Um, now, you'll slip down the tripod plate, and it's very, very difficult to see, but this is not a perfect square. So what you'll find is that this will you know, fit perfectly that way, but if you try to turn it the other way, it won't work. So um, it just won't fit at all. Um, and so it's one of those things I do try to make it to where the, the long way does follow the arrow up and down. Now, if you get it sideways, don't worry at all. This, as you see, can easily twist around, but I like to keep it to where uh, this is it's sticking out one side or the other. Just a personal preference. All right, so then you take your small washer, slip it down on top of that, and then your nut, of course, goes at the very end. All right. Now, I don't know which way I get my plate turned. I think it's this way, it's a long way. Again, it's very hard to see. And then you'll tighten it down. Thing you tighten it first. And now uh, I would not over tighten it. You want to get it to where right now it's, it's loose enough where I can still turn the play a little bit. And you may want to just do one more small turn after that. So um, that way it's, it's not, you know, matter how hard I try. I mean, I really could force it, I guess. You go a little bit tighter. Um, but you don't want to tighten it down so much it strips at it because these uh, little bolts will come off the back of the tripod if you go too tight. Uh, but once you have it like that, now you can easily attach it to the back, uh, back to the tripod. So it should just snap on down. Um, now I'll show you real quick on this other antenna. So this is the newer um, in, uh, tripod that we use. So it has a little different plate. You see it's kind of fat on one side, skinny on the other. And so I'll put the fat side to where it's kind of on the right side of the arrow. Now by the way, when you're setting these up on the finish line, it, it really doesn't matter. These are circular antennas. So the arrow is kind of insignificant. Um, but of course I do like to go ahead and make them all the same. Um, and so uh, I use the arrow more as a guide to and, you know, how stuff should be put together. And so basically that fat part will go against the skinny part here. And what I like to do is just pop it in like that. So I think I usually kind of rock it in, put the skinny part in first, and the fat end just kind of slides in. But so that's both of the antennas and tripods. Um, one final thing I'll say is that when you set these up on the finish line, make sure you extend the neck all the way to the top. And then these tripod legs, there's uh, three different levels to go. This is basically a perfect 180 to where it's almost flat on the floor. Uh, you want to go the next level down. Uh, so they'll, they'll actually go one more. That's too, too narrow. 
if you have a strong gust of wind, it'll blow over. And so that's how far I like to spread my, my tripods out. And this is a good height to where if you got tags on the shoes or on the hip, this will pick them up real good. So this is how your tripod should look whenever you are done with them.